everyone, this is Mary at Newtonville Books, and I thought I would do some kids' recommendations because I've been recommending for grown-ups, and there's a lot of kids at home who um, might like to see some new kids' books, or new-ish. Um, this is one that I love. It is called The Ocean. It's by Miranda Chris Kristovnikov and Jill Calder, and this is like a gorgeous illustrated view of the ocean and all the creatures in it. And I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite pages. This one is called Ocean Giants. So look at these gorgeous illustrations. Um, we've got manta rays, we've got giant squids. So Joseph, that one's for you. Um, and then just a couple pages later, they're just these lush, beautiful drawings of ocean animals and information about them. And here is my favorite page about sharks. This is for Lola. Um, look at these cool, cool sharks. Um, these really pretty illustrations that capture the magic of the ocean and what is down there. And so this is a great book for older um, picture book readers. So second, third, fourth graders um, or younger if they're really interested in these beautiful um, animals. So that's the first one. Second, I've got, this is one of my all time favorites. So it's a little bit older. It's called Octopus Alone um, by Divya uh, Srinivasan. And it is one of the most beautiful picture books. So it's all, oh, see, look at this. These are all the animals that, and the fish that are in this and you will get to see them in action. Um, but it's mostly about this octopus who uh, likes to be alone. Um, but sort of discovers that she also likes to be with friends sometimes. So this is a lovely, soothing picture book about quiet time. Um, and so it's good for younger kids too. So I would say like three and up. Um, and then the last ocean themed one I'm going to talk about is called Sea Creatures from the Sky by Ricardo Cortez. Um, and it is just the, it's the funniest and most surprising ocean book that you can imagine. And look at these gorgeous illustrations as well. He's such an artist. It's written and illustrated by him. This is a tale of no one believing something that is entirely true. And so it's really, that's how it starts. And um, just look at this, look at this. So he tells you, he's telling you this crazy story about something wild that happened. And there's a nice surprise at the end. Um, so these are, these are just a couple recommendations. It's so strange to be recommending books and um, not being able to have you come in here and buy them from me. So we're figuring it out. But right now you can go to bookshop.org and any purchases that you make there, a large percentage goes to us. So that will help us while, while we're closed. It will help us um, get ready to reopen. So thank you guys. I will take requests. If you want to see some books in the bookstore, I will be happy to show them to you. So um, comment here or send me an email, mary at newtonvillebooks.com or find me on social media. I'm doing a lot of that because we're home. So uh, I hope you will find us and uh, let me know what you want to hear about. Thank you. Happy reading. Stay home. Stay safe.